It's not, it's not the, the folks um, in the city of London who did 9-11. It's not the folks in the city of London who were, who were responsible for the siege of Gaza and the murder of Rachel Corey, and on and on and on. And af- after I said my piece, Alan Watt said something very interesting, Mike. You know, this is the biggest shot in the arm, the biggest morale booster that we've had since the original Cynthia McKinney interview that Ogner did. And, you know, everybody should be in high spirits, right, thinking that, that we actually might have these people on the run. Mm-hmm. To, 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 to quote, you know, to, to take a quote from a man who says the Arabs control Hollywood. Well, Alan said something interesting. Mike, he said, well, Lindsay, it doesn't matter because nothing's going to come of this. Can you believe that, that crap? Well, Can you believe I, that he said that? I, you know, I tell you... <laughs> No, no, Mike, Mike, be honest and say how you feel right now. Just well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we got to use Mike. all the ammunition we have in our hands. If it's only bricks and stones and pitchforks and, and uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, no, no, Mike, Mike, ancient you know what single I mean? shot rifles. And here we you know, have, here we have, we don't have, what we have here is at least a mini nuclear weapon. And we've got to Mike. use it, and we've got to tell as many people about it as possible. Exactly. And Mike, spread Mike, the really? word instead of just saying, oh, well, it's not going to go anywhere. No, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike. Uh, may- maybe you're, you're missing the forest for the trees, my friend. There's also so- something else that you may not know. Alex Jones has not, has not said one word about this interview. Now, now, I want you to understand where I'm going with this, Okay. You've got a man, after he's being told, and I, and I told, you know, Alan and his listeners, Dr. Sabra, I gave, who, I gave the information of who this man was, told what he said, played the code, blah, blah, blah. He says, well, Lindsay, it doesn't matter because nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to come of this. At the same time, the other shill, I'm sorry, the other truth, the, the other uh, leader of the truth movement, the granddaddy of the truth movement, hasn't mentioned one word about this. Do you understand what, I, what I'm saying to you? Well, I, I'll listening? tell you what. I'll tell you what. I, I considering the fact that, that that Alex Jones has such considerable clout, such considerable recognition, such considerable outreach, such considerable ability to influence the minds of so many people. I think he's missing the boat here, <laughs> and well, I hope well, it's no, no. not deliberate. Well, that's exactly what I'm getting at, Mike. Now, I'm not going to say yay or nay. However, I am going to tell you straight to your face. Alan Watt told me and all the listeners, and uh, he tried to take away the morale, Mike, by saying there's nothing we can do about it because the people aren't, aren't nothing's going to change. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is the last thing that we need from, from another leader who says, you know, who, who alludes that troglodytes are running the show, you know, the whole Glenn Keeley thing. Look. It's calling a spade a spade is what we've got to do at this point. Anybody who's going to ignore the or ignore these facts, ignore this interview, this is going to this is separating the men from the boys, the liars from the truth tellers, the shills from people like you, Mark Glenn, Daryl Bradford Smith, and Ogner, and also Hashem and, and um, brother Nathaniel Kapner. Do you well, agree? Well, I would add a lot of other people too. I don't want to right. make this an exclusive right. club here because there are a tremendous number of people out there trying to get the truth out and. And, and, and not fearing to mention the source of 9-11. But you're, you're right. I mean, I, you know, I think, I, think, I, I think Alan is completely wrong. Alan, Alan Watt is completely wrong to throw water on this because, uh, like I said, we need to use all the ammunition we have, but right now we have been handed at least a mini-nuke. And, and, and Mike, I, I gave And it's coming, word. excuse me, and it's coming from a very serious source here. Again, you know, this isn't just... Uh, Mike Piper or, or David... Duke yeah, I mean, that. yeah, I mean, you know, I can sit here and, and spin theories and spin my opinions and so forth, you know what I mean, but, but I'm just a plain old hack writer, but this is a guy, this is a guy who's, who's been charged with the responsibility of educating our top military men and who has moved in these top military circles for years... And, and who has friends who are generals who told who, who told him that yes you're you're right Alan Israel is responsible for all of this now I'm going to play this clip Mike um, go ahead may. please this is important okay how much time do we have my friend well go ahead just just okay. go ahead and play it I want to get it out there all right here we go for the record one two three is that when you have people who try to make this claim that they are loyal to America and at the same time loyal to a foreign government, it is a lie. 
It is, and it's more than, it's more than that, Mark. What, what we need to stand up and say is not only did they attack the USS Liberty, they did 9-11. Mm-hmm. They did it. I, am, I have had long conversations over the past two weeks with contacts at the Army War College, at headquarters Marine Corps, and I've made it absolutely clear in both cases that it is 100% certain that 9-11 was a Mossad operation, mm-hmm. period. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, Phil, I don't, I don't denigrate what happened to U.S.'s liberty in the slightest. You understand that. But for most Americans, you know, what happened in, to the U.S.'s liberty or in Vietnam was history. Mm-hmm. You know, this is history. You know, they can be concerned about it, but they're not going to get mad about it. Right. 9-11... 9/11 has led directly to 60,000 Americans dead and wounded. God knows how many hundreds of thousands of people in other countries that we've killed or wounded or made homeless. Mm -hmm. And it's an ongoing sore. It's not your sore from the USS Liberty. It's not my sore from Vietnam. Both of us have those. Both of us care about it. But this is an ongoing, this is an open wound. And what Americans need to understand they did it. Mm-hmm. They did it. And if they do understand that, Israel's going to disappear. Israel will flat-ass disappear from this earth. If, you know, I, I, I sent a film um, to, to one of my colleagues, and it basically had, had Americans grieving over their dead, coming back. Mm-hmm. And I showed one of them. It was a, it was a woman... You just just wrenched by grief, you know, over over her dead soldier. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, if Americans ever know ever know that Israel did this, they're going to scrub them off the earth, and they're not going to give a rat's ass. Forgive my language. What the cost is? They are not going to care. They will do it. Alan, Alan, you and they, know, and uh, they should, and they should, and they Alan, should. Alan, you're you're you're. Uh, <laughs> Your article and your heart and your testimony and what you believe in is is uh, heart wrenching to me. It is uh, it is uh, like our founding fathers in their shadows talking and saying, "We have to fix this. We have to make our own way, and we have to do it now, or we will go down." Exactly. And absolutely, Phil. I agree fully. Your 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 article uh, needs to be shipped off to the uh, to the Library of Congress immediately. Well, I can tell it, you, it's being read by some people in headquarters, Marine Corps, and at the Army War College. I sent well, it God, off to I sent it off to them this past week, and I've had some long discussions with people up there, and there are some really really unhappy people. What what are they saying? If you can if you can talk about that, Doctor Sprosky, what? You know, I, I, I'm curious. Asto- because- Asto- astonishment. Okay. The first thing, Mark, is astonishment. They didn't know. They, they truly didn't know. And these are not unintelligent people. They really didn't know. And the next statement is rage. Mm-hmm. Real rage. You know, and, you know, and the, the Zionists ha- are playing this as, as truly an all-or-nothing exercise, mm-hmm. because if they if they lose this one, that's it. If the American people ever realize what's right. happened, mm-hmm. they're done. That's it. And yeah. and and I will I will tell you frankly, I don't think either one of you has any Jewish ancestry. I do. You know, I have one grandparent who's Jewish. Uh, as uh, Phil Weiss from Mondo Weiss and I were talking about it, you know, he's he's a, a Jewish guy who puts a lot of critical stuff out there on Israel. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, you know, for the Orthodox rabbinate, I'm not a Jew. Mm-hmm. You know, for the Nazis, I've been there. Right. You know, and if this if this explodes, I'm going to go down with the rest of them. Right. 